So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. So what I like to keep in mind anytime I have a graph provided for me is that there's tons of information on this graph that I may not be paying attention to. For instance, I know that for this parabola, its vertex is at negative 1, negative 2, comma, negative 2, right? So I know that's the vertex. And then for this parabola, its vertex is at negative 2, comma, positive 2, if you follow um, the units here on the graph. And there's tons of other things. I know this y-intercept is at positive 2. This one down here looks like it's negative, whatever that is. But, you know, the point being, there's tons of information that gives me after, that gives me information for x values, for y values, for ordered pairs, for a lot of things that you want to make sure you're paying attention to. So the question says graphs of the function f and g. Okay, so g is the downward facing parabola. f is the upward facing parabola are shown in the xy plane above. For which of the following values of x? Okay, so what does x equal so that f of x plus g of x is equal to zero. Well, how would I know when f of x plus g of x is equal to zero? Well, how, how ever do you get the sum of two values to equal zero? It would mean that, you know, f of x must be equal to the negative of g of x, right? They must be the exact same value quantitatively, um, but one must be the negative of the other. And I kind of see one of those points here, right, where I had already pointed out. Let me just erase all these dots I made earlier. Because I had pointed out the vertices, it looks like when x is negative 2, right, which is there, y is positive 2, which is, so the g of x would be positive 2. But when x is negative 2, the f of x is is negative two, right? So it looks like I've already found the information. And even if I hadn't found that already, we would just go through and try each of these values. But it looks pretty clear to me that B is the right answer. Again, because when X equals negative two, F of X, right? Which is the upward facing parabola is equal to negative two, and g of x is equal to positive 2. Another way to say this is when x equals negative 2, f of negative 2 equals negative 2. And g of negative 2 equals positive 2, right? And therefore, when I add them together, I'm going to get a 0.